So I've been writing since I was around uh, 21 years old. I will put it, that I will uh, say 21 was when I first started writing a lot. Uh, before that, when I was 19, what I would do is I would take a uh, tape recorder and I would bring it to my friend's house and we would be sitting there drinking 40 ounces. We'll be drinking beer and I will have the, uh, the audio the uh, tape recorder on the table and I would just record us talking and I thought that that would help normal conversation I uh, wanted to write something about you know a bunch of people hanging out so I kinda wanted to have a carefree uh, part to that uh, story and I wanted to be and I wanted it to be realistic sounding so uh, that's how I thought I could capture some uh, conversation that would sound very realistic is by uh, doing that and uh, it was amusing not a whole lot came of it there wasn't a whole lot of good lines so it's not uh, something that um, is going to help too much I think the only thing that will help is just improving your communication and of course exercising a lot uh, I do not agree with Bukowski he was a big drunk he was a writer who was a big drunk and he said that he couldn't write anything good if he was sober he had to go out and get drunk so I do not agree with that I think that exercise and living a healthy lifestyle and practicing your communication is the only way that will uh, help you write and uh, a lot of people who are younger are going to have problems writing until they get a little bit older because life experience is very important in writing when you're younger I would say just read a lot that will always help too but uh, life experience when you get older you have more life experience you know more how the world works so it will be easier for you to write things when you're younger you really don't understand politics you really don't understand religion you really don't understand society because you're still developing so the best way to do that is to go ahead and read other people read as much as you can learn as much as you can and exercise work out live a healthy lifestyle and instead of watching TV just go to different towns around your area pick a new town to go to every weekend and just walk around and look at that town notice every detail because by looking at the world will help you write the world it will help you describe the world if you see something and you don't understand what it is look it up on the internet and by doing all of this will create a learning uh, mechanism and will help you uh, describe things it will help you uh, with details it will help you with your story so uh, I would read Bukowski when I was uh, in my late teens going into my twenties and he was good because he did not give you too much description a big problem I think with uh, writers is that they may spend too long boring the reader with useless details it's like they want to fill pages because they want to have a four or five hundred page book that sits you know uh, at the supermarket or in the bookstore and the majority of the book is just filler they don't have much to say so they just wanna fill the book up with useless dialogue and useless description Bukowski Charles, Bukow <coughs> Charles Bukowski he uh, was good because he got right to the point he practiced a form of storytelling or writing which is uh, when you're hanging out with your friends your friend will be like did you hear what happened let me tell you a story about what happened and uh, they get right to the point 
They don't say it was a fall day and the leaves were just changing color and they were falling uh, off the trees and the wind was blowing them in a spiral pattern uh, and as cars uh, drove past they also kicked the leaves up uh, in a uh, fiery display of autumn uh, you know George was walking down the street with his favorite pair of blue jeans on he bought the blue jeans you know at the Goodwill uh, last time he went there with his Aunt Matilda, his Aunt Matilda insisted on uh, buying things at secondhand stores and on and on and on. That's useless filler. It's uh, a writer who is getting off on the fact that they could describe things. And they just fill the pages up with that sort of crazy writing. And a good example of that is Stephen King. He has a lot of interesting stories, but I, I'll skip ahead pages and pages at a time looking for the next interesting or important part of that book. So Charles Bukowski was known to get right to the point. He uh, would tell you a story like your buddy sitting across the table from you, you know, at a restaurant or at a, uh, you know, at, at a diner, uh, your buddy hanging out with you. You go take a drive somewhere with your buddy. You go take a drive somewhere with your buddy. He's going to tell you a story. He's going to get right to the point. That's a good thing about Bukowski. He did not waste your time with description. Everything was a point to the story. And he hung out with a lot of people so he could describe people real well. And a lot of the people that he hung out with were, uh, I guess you could call them street people. He would often wind up on Skid Row, is what he would call it, or at different tenement houses. And he would describe uh, the people he would meet at bars on the street. And he would describe all the different jobs that he had and how he hated all the different jobs that he had. So he would kind of uh, take the negative, uh, the negativity in his life or the low points in his life, like working a dead-end job and being surrounded by people who are kind of crazy or negative, and he would describe them in a story, and he would make something positive out of something negative, which was important. So uh, Bukowski was a good influence in that regard, but he was definitely not a good influence when it comes to suggesting that people uh, drink and write. He called it uh, X-lax for the soul. He said alcohol was X-lax for the soul. And of course, X-lax is something that you take when you can't use the bathroom. And it helps you take a crap. So he's saying basically if you drink a lot, uh, your mind or your soul will take a crap on your document. So a lot of what you're going to write will be crap. But uh, I don't know. When you first start drinking and you get a little bit of a buzz, there might be a 20-30 minute uh, interval there where you feel really happy. And you might be able to get a good line or two out. But then quickly after that, you start writing in a uh, sloppy way. So take my uh, advice. Don't do that because you'll spend uh, your life drinking and months will go by and you'll only have a good line or two every uh, time you go drinking. So that's a very slow way to write a novel. I would not recommend it. It's just not worth it. I would go out for a run or a jog. And get yourself in a good mood that way. You could get the adrenaline and get the and get the endorphins working in your body naturally, and then you could go back home and be in a good mood that way, instead of uh, using alcohol or drugs to put you in a good mood so that you'll write a few good lines. Do it naturally with your own body's chemicals, and you'll do that just by taking a walk or even a jog up to the top of the street and back. 
And when you come back, you'll find out that you are a lot better writer. And also, it's real tough to, uh, to write after a long day. You don't want to go work an eight-hour job and then come home at night and think you're going to write uh, really well. The best time to write is in the morning when your brain is fresh, when you just relaxed your brain, when you just gave your brain a rest by sleeping. That's the best way to do it.